intimate partner violence is all about power. It happens when someone uses fear or aggression to control their partner's behaviour. The majority of the most damaging violence is perpetrated by men and born by women, and it can have devastating consequences for their physical and mental health. One in three women will report experiencing it at some point in their life. And here in Australia, a woman is murdered by a current or past partner every single week. But these figures can change, and it's actually not that difficult to change them. But they're not going to change. Not until individuals and communities become part of the solution. So with that in mind, I've looked at how paramedics and ambulance services should be responding to intimate partner violence. Now, currently, there's very little that's done in ambulance to support these patients, which is worrying, considering we know paramedics report frequently encountering them, and we know that by ignoring it, we're potentially facilitating further violence. Now, my own experience working as a paramedic, as well as my research with paramedics and students, has shown that we rarely receive any education on intimate partner violence. We have, at best, a medium-level knowledge, and we just don't feel prepared to encounter them. Now, this is not that surprising when you consider that ambulance is a very guideline-driven industry, and we don't have a guideline for how to respond. So my PhD has created the world's first guideline for paramedics to recognise and refer intimate partner violence patients to care and support. We had 42 experts take part in the study, and over three rounds of revisions and feedback, we finally had agreement on a, a final version of the protocol. And who says that bureaucrats and academics can't agree on anything? <laughs> but now we have this guideline, and it's great. It can be used by a paramedic anywhere in the world, and it sets out exactly how to recognise the signs of intimate partner violence based on clinical and scene findings, how to talk to patients, how to broach the subject and react to disclosures, how to refer them, what agencies can we refer to and how to get in contact, and how to document your findings. And the best part is that now we have this guideline, we can create the educational packages we need to boost those knowledge and preparedness scores. Because with the right education, paramedics can be a resource for women experiencing intimate partner violence. And with the work we've accomplished in this PhD, with strong leadership in the ambulance services, we can make it known to every woman that when they call an ambulance, they're going to meet a knowledgeable, compassionate, and skilled paramedic who can connect them with the care and support they need to end the violence. Thank you.